Well, to give this conversation some credence, let's now bring in Johnson Derry, who join, joins us actually by way of phone, and he is an analyst at ABC Capital. Many thanks, Johnson, for joining us today. Yeah, a pleasure. And uh, listening to the president's remarks in relation to where he'd like to see the GDP, um, let's just pick it up from what do you make of his speech? Was it just the ordinary president of Uhuru Kenyatta, or is it a president keen after his legacy? Uh, well, I think he is uh, very focused on, on his legacy. Um, I think he, he, he wants to leave something to, to, to be talked about uh, uh, years after he's gone. Uh, you, you could almost sense the energy when, when he's uh, speaking about the big four. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's always kept uh, bringing it up every time, every now and then, and again, which 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 also suggests focus. So, um, for in, in, I, I think I think um, he, he's really uh, you know focused on it, and he wants to see as much uh, achieve as much as possible on them. And you can he's, he's given us hints on the programs that mm -hmm. that he would like to see established uh, under each and every uh, one of those four. Uh, I, uh, general objectives. Uh -huh. And uh, Nderi, looking at uh, the president's address, it comes off with a sense of uh, priority areas, that being manufacturing, uh, affordable health care, affordable housing, and of course food security. From where you sit, does the country have the resources to actually deliver on this big four agenda, bearing in mind that right now we are actually heavily burdened by debt, and there's also this push to deliver for his, for his administration. Uh, and that is very true. Um, as we speak right now, uh, there, are, there are a number of issues to, to, to speak of, even before you talk about development spending. Um, already uh, as it stands now, uh, government spending uh, historically has or typically of us in fact uh, re recurrent expenditure has of, uh, of, uh, as in, is, is usually higher than uh, a recurrent uh, uh, income which is really taxation so you you you, you have to ask yourself um, for the development spending where will there still come from Yes. So of course, of course. Um, in, in a in a typical, I mean, if you if you go to the Western economies, you'll find that um, the government spending uh, as a proportion of GDP is is uh, in the 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, but Kenya is, is is much much higher than that. I think right. 30s or 30s or 40s. I, I I can't quite remember correctly. Uh, but that has to come down. Uh -huh. And when I, when, you, when that comes down, what what, what do you chop? You understand, but but when I look at the big four, I'm looking at manufacturing. That's typically a private sector issue. Mm -hmm. um, food security can be 100 percent private sector as well. Yes. And housing can be 100 percent private sector. There are also a lot of investments going into healthcare um, from the private sector. So if this were a Purely an issue of generating incentives to support all these investments. It can be actually done 100% private sector. I think my, my, my concern is uh, the programs that the government is putting up to mm -hmm. see that these are, are achieved. All right. uh, and 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 if it's government involvement, that may be in resources, eh? except for the, the issue where, where where the government approach is. Uh, is, is just purely incentives, um, but but it worries me, especially when I look at uh, programs like Galana Kulalu. Um, when I look at uh, Nairobi, uh, house, I mean National Housing Corporation. When I look at uh, government for into manufacturing, remember the Nyayoka. Um, when you look at Kenya uh, National Hospital with regards to healthcare, um, you, you 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 tend to feel some, some a bit of apprehension. Uh, when you when you when you start talking about these four points, and you look at those 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 uh, historical uh, performance of of the government in these specific areas. All right, and uh, finally, Nderi, for this to be made possible, the big four, 
And uh, of course, uh, this is expected to create a number of jobs as well as uh, grow Kenya's economy. From a budget standpoint, what are some of yeah. the implications we are likely to see in the upcoming uh, budget? Like I was speaking earlier, uh, it depends on how the government wants to achieve this. Say, for example, if, if, if um, the government say, w was to give tax incentives for, say, for example, manufacturing, then it is, it is likely to be the case that you'll see uh, more investment in manufacturing. Because right now, uh, I think the manufacturers are, uh, are, are struggling a bit. Yes. Uh, so if they can give, be given that room, save through tax, tax cuts, for example, or tax credits, or however you want to structure that, then they can be in a position to increase production mm -hmm. and increase the um, I mean, general wealth of the country. All right. Which can then be used to, to do uh, other things as well. Um, so really, what really matters here is the approach. Mm -hmm. Does the government want to work hand in hand, with, I mean, in partnership with the private sector, or does the government want to do it on, it, do it on itself? That mm -hmm. makes all the difference. Uh -huh. And uh, Nderi, finally, looking at uh, the current <coughs> state of affairs in the country, corruption is a big deal when it comes yes. to taking up the cost of doing business. The president did also touch on corruption, saying that uh, he will ensure that uh, the government is corruption free. But looking at the culture and of course, uh, the bottlenecks that come along with uh, doing business in Kenya, what would it take really to address the dragon of corruption? For me, um, it is really this simple. Um, Every time where government is involved, there's a lot of there's there's, there's uh, all uh, so many incentives for the the, the, the participants from government side uh, <coughs> to make a quick buck on the side. But when you're doing it for private sector, and and you've got competition and it's you know privatized, and and you you'll naturally see as 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 we saw with the communication sector of the privatization. Uh, we saw we saw um, prices of, of phone calls coming down, and this is what I expect to see uh, in 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 um, these four areas uh, if that is the approach taken. Um, oh. So so you'll have two 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 things. You know, in the private sector, we say you've got uh, the, the the market discipline mm -hmm. because because you are forced to take care of your resources appropriately. And All you're not, right. or you don't want to get engaged in, in, in activities that make you lose money, such All as right. corruption. Okay. Well, many thanks there, Johnson Derry, economist at ABC Capital, just trying to dissect for us the state of the nation address and the practicality of the Big Four agenda, indeed saying that it will be a daunting task for the Jubilee administration when it comes to delivering on its promises. Well, we'll continue to look at these issues in-depthly in the course of our broadcast. Let's move on to some more news now. And pay TV provider Star Times has brought in a new subscriber payment regime as the clamor for satisfying the Kenyan home entertainment market intensifies. Well, the new payment regime allows customers to make flexible subscription payments for various bouquets as the company looks to show up subscribers who are not always home to watch television. We are giving you alternatives to pay for your subscription. So we are coming up with the flexible payment options. So these payment options basically are you can pay daily. You can pay weekly or you can pay monthly. That is a first in this market. And if anyone wants to challenge me, please do so. It is a first. You've heard other people talk about it, but they don't do it daily. We do it daily. 